Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, in this particular video, we are going to uh, continue with bonds. So in our previous video, we generally talk about um, what is bonds and what are the key uh, terms which are generally associated with bonds. Okay, so hope uh, those particular terms are clear to all of you. Now we will talk about uh, the different type of bonds. Uh, which are available in the market for the investment okay so here in this particular video we are going to talk about the uh, different type of bonds like we have zero coupon bond okay so what are zero coupon bonds then the uh, perpetual bonds inflation link bonds subordinated bonds and option optionability in bonds like callable bonds and portable bonds so these are the topics which are generally uh, which we are going to cover in this particular video before this i hope you watched the previous one okay so because that is very important one to understand this particular video okay so whenever we talk about bonds these are long term maturity debt instruments which means their maturity is more than one year up to 30 years and uh, the debtor or the borrower they can raise funds by issuing these particular securities for a longer period okay and they offer a fixed rate of interest uh, on these from these particular securities now if you talk about the terminologies which we already covered in our previous video so we have like coupon rate okay which is you can say interest rate uh, on that particular bond redemption value when you redeem that particular bond or uh, the value at the time of maturity of that particular bond so that is redemption face value which is uh, stated on the face of that particular bond place value the kind of lot size the number of investment made by investor in any specific bond day count convention which is related to uh, the uh, interest rate calculation of bond as well apart from these we discuss so many other terminologies as well so please do watch that particular video so that is definitely going to help you to understand the concept of bond so if you talk about the types of bonds so um, we have number of uh, like we have different different types of bonds so they are generally classified on the basis of um, the issuer of that particular bond or some specific feature like if uh, a bond is issued by a corporate house that is generally known as corporate bonds if a bond is generally issued by government of India, that is generally known as sovereign bonds, like sovereign gold bonds, or other instruments. If it is issued by a corporate house, sorry, a municipal party, so it is generally known as municipal bonds. We, I hope you guys heard about the electoral bonds, which is generally for election, uh, for for the purpose of elections, parties, and all. Okay, or even sometimes you'll heard about the tax-free bonds and others, like infra bonds, green bonds. So they are generally part we have different different types of bonds yeah, which are generally available for the uh, available in the market for the investment okay so here we will discuss few important bonds which are quite important for the examination purpose and being a student you need to know about these particular bonds so uh, before moving those particular one we have fixed rate of interest bond so where the coupon rate is fixed floating is that is variable zero coupon we'll discuss this one in detail uh, we will discuss um, inflation link bond in detail, perpetual in detail, subordinated in detail. Corporate bonds, these are generally issued by the corporate houses, okay? Like, uh, uh, let's say if uh, Reliance issues some bond to uh, fulfill some uh, long-term debt requirements, so they'll, that is generally known as your corporate bonds. Tax-free bonds, these are issued by government of India or state government. So basically, let's say if government of India is coming with some infrastructure project, so to finance those particular projects, they need money, okay? So they come with some tax-free uh, bonds So invest that generally attract to investors. So investors, they generally made that their investment in these kind of securities and they get um, exempt from the principal as well as interest, okay? So um, we have public sector bonds issued by public sector organizations, municipal, local, state government and central government so like you can see if you go through these particular types of bonds so these are generally like on the basis of the feature of that particular bond like if you talk about the green bond so they are generally something related to where we are generally supporting our government is fine using that particular money for the green related projects okay if you talk about masala bond so that is that generally support uh, that is that is generally called rupee dominated bond so we are generally supporting 
these these bonds are generally issued in different countries in other countries okay in foreign countries and the investor they are generally making money in indian rupee okay so that generally providing strength to indian rupee or indian currency which is inr so or um, so basically the categorization is generally based on the issuer uh, type or uh, the uh, fee, main feature of that particular bond so first we have um, inflation linked bond this is very important one so to understand this one i hope you guys remember the concept of real income so whenever we talk about uh, uh, real income so the formula of real income is hope you remember this one that is interest minus inflation okay so how this concept work so let's say you invested 100 rupees in any security uh the rate of interest offered by that particular one was 7% so after one year your money grows to uh 107 rupees so this is your nominal income this 107 will be known as nominal income so you invested 100 rupees at the rate of 7% and you get after one year you get 107 rupees so that 107 is generally known as nominal income because like this is uh, income which is uh, like you do not make any uh, adjustment for inflation in other factors okay so if during the same period let's say this was this investment was for the financial year 22 23 so during this particular year suppose that the average inflation the average inflation rate was the average inflation rate was 5% suppose that during the same period or financial year 22 23 the inflation grows by 5% so if inflation goes up by 5% which means the value of our domestic currency will also decrease by 5% right so your real income if you will calculate real income so interest is 7% and uh, inflation is 5% your real income is only 2 rupees in from this particular investment 100 rupees was your principal so your nominal income if you talk about nominal income it was 7 rupees but if you talk about the real income it is only 2 rupees because during that particular period inflation grew by 5% so you have to adjust that particular one now this was the concept of uh, inflation okay so if you like if you relate this Okay, I'll erase this part. Okay, now, um, so guys, now if you talk about the concept of inflation, okay, uh, inflation linked bond. So let's say you invested or any investor who invested ten lakh rupees in some bonds, and the uh, the rate of interest offered on this particular bond was eight percent, and the bond was for ten years. The maturity period was ten years, and if you see. the average inflation the average inflation which was for the 10 year was supposed that 10% okay so the average inflation was 10% during these 10 years or in last 10 years okay so now you can see 8% minus 10% so your infl your investment goes in negative you did not you did not made any profit from this particular investment so to protect the investors from inflation so government of india they came with one kind of bond they basically introduced these one in uh, 2012 13 because that time the inflation was on peak it is around 10.93% okay an investor faced this particular issue so to deal with this particular problem they came with one uh, bond that is called inflation linked bond now they how they generally issue they mention like whatever the inflation okay so it is the rate of interest is inflation plus 2.5% or 1.5% or 1.75%. Now, whatever the inflation is, like let's say inflation was uh, during last 10 year inflation was 15%, so no worry. 15 plus 2.5%. This will be your return. If inflation was suppose that 2%, then your infl your earning will be uh, 2.25 plus 2%, 4.50%. So here by using this particular uh, tool, they are generally protecting the investors money from inflation so inflation index bonds are securities designed to help uh, protect investors from inflations inflation linked bond are index uh, to inflation okay so as inflation price will goes up so the value like the, which is like the rate of interest is inflation plus this 
and they are using that index so that is the calculation or even they are this way they are generally protecting the interest of investors hope this is clear to all of you next one and very important concept guys so many time you need to know about the real income and uh, the uh, uh, nominal income differences and how inflation basically uh, how inflation is important for these kind of real income uh, calculations so you need to know about this next one perpetual bonds perpetual bonds are like these are kind of shares so these bonds they do not have any kind of maturity okay so they generally work till the maturity of that the uh, the time that a company uh, basically exists exists in the market okay so perpetual bonds which is known as perpetual or just prep is a bond with no maturity date okay so it can be like if a company we started a company a company raised fund let's say reliance raised fund so suppose that reliance work for 500 years so the maturity of this particular bond is 500 years let's say any xyz company you invested in that perpetual bonds they came with perpetual bond and that company wind up after 4 years so 4 years is the maturity for that particular bond so there it, it is treated as equity not as debt so that's why the perpetual bond are generally treated as equity okay so i hope this is clear next one zero coupon bond so coupon i hope you remember this particular term coupon rate is rate of interest so zero coupon bond is usually what happen so let's say if you invested in some bond so the rate of interest is mentioned on the face of that particular bond but in some cases in case of zero coupon bond you will see if they'll mention if you invest 90 rupees in this particular bond so the current face value is 90 rupees or your invest value is 90 rupees so after one year you will get 100 rupees they are giving you rate of interest okay they are giving you 10 rupees per unit for a, a specific period but they do not mention that rate of interest or that coupon rate on the bond, face of that particular bond so these type of bond generally known as uh zero coupon bond so a zero coupon bond is a bond in which the face value is uh, repaid at the time of maturity so let's say uh, the maturity was one year in this particular case or le let's say they ask you you invest 75 rupees and the maturity is 10 years so after 10 years you will get 100 rupees so this is the outcome or this is the return from that particular bond so here in these kind of bonds they do not mention the coupon rate it does not make a periodic interest payment okay or so have called um, coupons hence they, they are generally known as zero coupon so like in other cases in some cases you'll get annual returns but here that things are already mentioned you invest 75 will pay you after 10 years 100 rupees so these kind of bond they are generally known as zero coupon bond next one guys subordinated bonds or it is also known as subordinated debt so if you study company account 1 or 2 so you'll find there are number of companies who generally raise funds in the form of sub subordinated debt so this is like this kind of debt is riskier in nature okay so let's say if any company is issuing these kind of bonds so they have a very good will very strong good will in the market okay so these are kind of bonds okay but if you talk about the liquidation period or liquidation time so when we give priority so they have least priority okay so first we give priority to salaries of employees or the other debt which is raised by that particular company then we'll return the money of sub subordinated debt okay so a subordinated bond is a bond which is in case of debtors bank corruption is paid after the payment of higher priority bonds uh, so called uh, senior subordinated bonds okay hope this is clear they are unsecured in nature and they are higher Uh, like they are riskier in nature and which means the rate of interest which generally interest get from these kind of bonds which is higher as compared to other bonds okay next one optionability of bond i hope you guys remember uh, the call option and put option okay so similarly here as well so you have uh, in bond in case of bond as well so callable which is something rela related to the debtors okay who generally or the borrowers who generally borrow money by using bonds putable which is generally some which is something related to the buyers okay so in case of callable bonds uh, let's say a maturity period of any bond is 10 years the maturity period is 10 years so in if it is callable bond so 
the issuer have right they can call these particular bond prior maturity they can like they can pay out customers or the investors you know, within uh, 10 years they can pay out they can make pay out in 8 years 5 years or any other time duration in case of portable bonds this is just opposite so here the right belongs to the investors so let's say the maturity is 10 years if this buyer who want to liquid this put his money so he can liquid after 3 years after 4 years or 7 uh, years or any time before the maturity so callable and putable uh, these are the bonds type okay again very important one for examination purpose so a callable bond is a type of bond that allow the issuer of the bond to retain issuer do remember this right ha huh? issuer please do remember this right issuer uh, of the bond to retain the privilege of redeeming the bond at uh, some point before the bond reaches uh, to its maturity date so as i gave you an example so the maturity was 10 years but issuer they generally uh, uh, they generally redeem that particular one in 7 year only so that is called callable call option okay putable if you talk about the putable bonds so the holder or the buyer or the investor of the putable bond has a right but not an obligation they do not have any obligation in case of in case of callable as well as in case of putable they do not have any obligation to redeem that particular money before the maturity period they do have that option okay so they can buy back that particular one before the maturity but there is as such no obligation please do remember this to demand early repayment of the uh, principal amount so a putable bond is a type of bond that provide the holder of a bond uh, the right but not an obligation to uh, force the uh, issuer uh, to redeem that particular one before maturity as well so this is very simple one if you know the concept of call and put you can easily relate with this okay so um, guys uh, these were some major type of bonds which we discussed in the in the last uh, 20 to 25 minutes i hope you enjoy these particular things so bonds again this concepts of bonds market or debt market that is very important Let, let's say if you are studying finance for gib cib or if you are studying finance for rbi grade b or any other area okay so these concepts are very very important for your examination purpose so examiner they generally give you question based on the terminology based on the different different concept or calculations So you need to know about these basic things so you can easily understand the advanced related things as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you like, please do share with your friends. Do like the video, and if you are new to our channel, so please do subscribe. So this is it. I'll come with more videos. So stay tuned. Thank you.